In this section, we're going to be looking at lifts and scale pans. So uh, types of problems where you've got um, something like a crate within a lift, or you've got uh, a two crates with a lift, one on top of the other, or on a scale pan, different weight, two or more weights on a scale pan, um, and the forces that are uh, linking in with those. So the main part of this is going to be being able to draw a force diagram to represent uh, the situation. So what we're going to do in this video is really just build up the concepts, okay, to make sure we're happy with what these situations should look like. So we're going to start off by drawing a force diagram for a person of mass M standing on the ground. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw the ground just to start off with. And here is the person standing on the ground. Okay, so the forces that are acting on that person is that they will have their weight acting vertically downwards, which will be their mass m times by gravity, so m times g. And then there will be a normal reaction force because they're in contact with a surface pointing directly upwards, which I will label R. Okay, so you can then draw that just as a particle. So if you were just drawing this, like there is your point, and you've got mg, and you've got r, that would be per perfectly fine as your force diagram. Okay, so that is situation A. I'm just drawing that so it's easier for you to see what's going on. So that would be our answer to A. So then let's take a look at part B. So now we've got an empty lift of mass capital M, accelerating upwards, pulled by a light inextensible vertical cable. So you have an empty lift that is being pulled up by a vertical cable. So the weight of the lift would work vertically downwards, and that would be its mass, capital M, times gravity, G. You'll ha also have the tension that will be in the cable, and that's what's pulling it upwards, and it's accelerating upwards as well, and I'll put that on my diagram, and that's using the double-headed arrow for acceleration. Okay, so likewise, we could draw this just as a particle, capital MG, there's T, and accelerating upwards, like so. Okay, and that, that's all my diagram would need to be. Right, let's take a look at part C. Okay, so part C, we've got a lift of mass M accelerating upwards, pulled by a light and extensible vertical cable, but it's not empty this time. We've got it carrying a person of mass uh, lowercase m. So now we've got our lift. We've got the person inside the lift. And it's being pulled upwards by that cable. Okay, so it's kind of a combination of these two situations. Because now we've got the weight working vertically downwards, which will be a combination of the person's weight and the lift's weight. So the total mass will be lowercase m plus capital M. And that will be multiplied by gravity. So that's our weight. And there will be the tension that is in the cable, and of course that tension will be different to that tension, okay, because of the weight will be different. And this will be accelerating upwards. Okay, so we can see that this is the situation that we would have um, going on. Now this is actually our answer to part one, show the forces acting on the lift. Okay, because actually what's happening is that for the lift, it's being pushed down by the weight of the person, and that's why we've got this combined weight of M plus capital M times G, 
and it's being pulled up by that tension T and it's accelerating upwards. So for part one, we have the particle. We've got M plus capital M times G. We've got the tension working upwards and it's accelerating upwards. Okay, and so that is the situation as it is for the lift. Now, for the person, the person doesn't have the um, weight of the lift acting on it because the weight of the lift is working vertically downwards. So, for the person that's inside the lift, the situation looks very similar to what's going on here. We've got the weight of the person working vertically downwards. Then we'll also have this normal reaction force because they're in contact with the surface. Now, this R, just like the tension here was different to this tension here, this R would be different to that R right there. The normal reaction force will be different because the particle is now accelerating. Okay, So there will be a difference here. So the person is accelerating upwards. So as a particle, so drawing a similar diagram to this, we've got mg working downwards, we've got the normal reaction force, and we are accelerating upwards. Okay, so you've got to take into account the wording of the question depending on which bit you are focusing on.